everybody, welcome back to another video of a Rockford Fosgate amplifier dyno. This time I have no amplifier on the bench from the Punch series, this time I have a new amplifier from the Prime series. This amplifier is also user supported, thank you very much for sending this amp to me, so I can make a dyno video and a sound test of it, thanks. And if you keep sending amps, I can keep making videos for you. So don't stop sending amps. The first look inside the amplifier revealed that there is nothing in common with the old school amplifiers. I miss completely the SMD technology. There is not only one SMD component on the mainboard. You can make the input signal adjustment from 150 millivolts to 8 volts. And there's also a punch base. There you have a boost of 12 dB at 45 Hz. The high pass filter is fixed and the low pass filter is variable from 50 Hz to 250 Hz. And the speaker terminals are screw terminals also for the power input and grounds. I had some problems with the amplifier. The left channel was playing and clear. The right channel was also playing, but distorted audio. I have no schematics of the amplifier, nothing and no experience with fixing amps of this model range. I never had one of these on the bench. And I tried to check uh, the input signal with my scope and I checked the preamp section. All operational amplifiers delivered the signal, but to the driver transistors it came distorted. So I checked some capacitors and then I found a faulty capacitor. It was a 100 microfarad 16 volts. It's a two channel amplifier with 50 watts per channel into a four ohm load and 75 watts per channel into a two ohm load. And now let's start the dyno. The amplifier is connected to the dummy load and let's have a look at the scope and see what the amplifier can code out. I start as usual with one kilohertz continuous power both channels driven, 4 ohms. So we have a clean signal. The scope says maximum voltage 40.8. I go to the top of the waveform. We got 41.6 volts. The amplifier delivered 55 watts of continuous power into a 4 ohm load, both channels driven. 50 Hz continuous power test. Scope says we have a maximum voltage of 40 volts. And the scope is right. We calculate with 40 volts. The amplifier delivers 51 watts of continuous power into a form load with a 50 Hz signal. Let's have a look at the efficiency of the amplifier. You can see that the idle current is very low. I measured, I think, around 0.36 amps. Okay, it's jumping to 0.4. So I give 1 kHz continuous power to the amplifier. And we have 11.6 amps. The Prime 152 has an efficiency of 69%. So there is no dynamic headroom. I skip the test. It doesn't matter if I test with 8 cycles, 20 cycles or just 1 cycle. There is absolutely no dynamic headroom. I go to the test with 1 kHz into a 2 ohm load, both channels driven, continuous power. Use again, it looks a little bit clipped. Here we go, and we have maximum voltage of thirty five point two. That's true. 35.2 volts. We have 158 watts bridge mono 4 ohms or 79 watts into a 2 ohm load of continuous power with 1 kilohertz. 50 hertz continuous power test. 2 ohms per channel. Oops. The 
scope says maximum 33.6 volts. Yeah, there's some alias. Let's calculate with 33.6 volts. We have 144 watts mono for ohms and 72 watts per channel into a 2 ohm load, both channels driven. Dynamic burst test, 1 kHz, 20 cycles. Maximum 36 volts. I have 35.6. Just have a look. That's okay. First cycle okay. And let's go to the last cycle. Ah, that's okay. Go to the center. I have 36 volts. Dynamically, the amplifier puts out 166 watts into a 4 ohm mono load. That's 83 watts into 2 ohms per channel, both channels driven. I made the dynamic test with 8 cycles, but there was no increase in power, so I skip also this test and I go straight to the test with just one cycle. And we have a little higher voltage, 37.6 volts. With just one cycle, the amplifier puts out 181 watts, that's 90.5 watts, into a 2 ohm load, both channels driven, for just one millisecond. Efficiency test, full power into 2 ohms per channel. We have 20.7 amps. The efficiency of the amplifier is 55% if tested with a continuous signal and 58.5% with a burst signal, 20 cycles, 1 kilohertz. 1 ohms per channel, that's 2 ohms mono, and we will see if the amplifier goes into protection or not. But I will use a burst signal for the 2 ohms mono test. We have 20 cycles, and all have the same level. I go straight to the last cycle to check it out. Yeah, it's okay. Amplifier is not hot, still running. And scope says we have 25.6 volts. We have 26.4 volts. I measured 174 watts into a 2 ohms mono load, that's 87 watts into a 1 ohm load per channel, both channels driven. With 8 cycles, I have the same output power. And now I'm going to test with just one cycle. Amplifier is still on. I will tune it a little bit higher until we have clipping. Negative 1 goes into clip. I reduce a little bit until I don't see this negative waveform clipping. Yeah, it's unclipped now. We can take 29.6 volts, mono 2 ohms with just one cycle. I measure 219 watts, that's 109.5 watts into a 1 ohm load per channel, both channels driven. Now I'm going to check the continuous power with 1 kHz into a 2 ohm mono load. That's 1 ohm per channel. Let's go. Amplifier is not in protection. But now it's starting. Oh, amplifier quit the job. The amp shut off because this fuse is broken. It's just a 20 amp fuse. You have the results of the amplifier and now let's check out how this little thing will sound.
Thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next Dino. See you. Bye bye.